wax spot. I have another S40B receiver full of the same caps that created the first wax spot. So I'm going to rebuild this radio, keep the old waxy drippers, and then we'll go into the lab and recreate this monster. Alright, another recap job complete. Here's the caps that have been pulled from the S40B. It is time to construct another wax spot. Alright, to build your wax spot, you're going to need the following tools. A drill to drill through those capacitors, a hot glue gun to put your wax spot together with, and this is 18 gauge solid conductor wire. And that is what I brought up through the legs and came down to the arms with. And that's what holds him together and allows the unique movement of your wax spot. So this wax spot will be a little bit different I'm using resistors for his feet, which came out of the radio, and I'm adding some disc capacitors for his hands, like the other wax spot. Those did not come out of the receiver. Then you need to come up with some materials to dress up the head. In this case, I used two 440 Keps nuts, a turret for the nose, and an old carbon resistor for his mouth. But you can do whatever you want on your wax spot. So in prep you need to take and remove the leads from these caps. Then you're going to come in through the end, try to keep her centered, and drill through each of the capacitors. You will not drill through the head. Keep the leads on the head. The bottom lead is actually going to push into the body to hold it in place. And the top one you can curl and make a cool little antenna like this wax spot. Okay, a little note for you, you're only going to drill through the legs, up this cap, part of the body, and through the arms. You will not be drilling these pieces in the center. So you can actually remove them. You will not be drilling the main body. But you will be making a hole for the lead of the head to go into that body and be glued into place. Alright, I'm going to start by drilling the leg caps out. I gotta warn you, use a very sharp drill bit and there are some fumes that come up when you're drilling through this material. So it's probably a good idea to have good ventilation or maybe even wear a little mask. So as you drill you're going to see the aluminum foil and some other plastics that come up out of the hole. Try to keep your drill bit as plumb as possible because you really don't want the legs and all that to be crooked. So try to keep her straight. Okay, I've got through the first cap. There's the 18 gauge wire going right through it. You can see it moves freely. Alright, i got everything drilled. You can see it makes quite the mess. But this is the worst part of the job. Clean this up and now it's time to hot glue them together. So you're going to start the assembly process by gluing the main body together. Okay, So these are the shoulders this is the main body and of course the arms and legs will be hooked to those outer caps. The head is going to be glued directly. Then after the body and the head are together, then you can put on your additional caps for the chest. I'm sure you get the idea. I'll get it glued up and you can take a look. Alright, the main body is glued together. Now it's time to route our wire up through the legs, the side caps and down the arms. So cut yourself two pieces of the 18 gauge wire long because you need to connect the feet and the hands. Well there's one side of the wax spot with a wire routing through so the hands will connect here, the feet here. Now on the first wax spot, I didn't think that far ahead, I actually soldered the arm pieces on. But in this case we're going to do it with one continuous piece of wire. Alright, make sure when you put the wire through your wax spot you leave enough on the shoulders and the joints so he is poseable. Okay. After that, bend your wires up. We're going to connect the feet here and the hands will be soldered on here. Alright, just finished connecting wax spots. Feet center the legs and I used the wire and I bent it over the front 
to be like little toenails and make sure that these are face forward and your arms are flat. You can always adjust that later. Right now we're going to connect his hands which are little disc capacitors. Just going to tack solder those in place. I'm going to push that right down. I want it as close to the cap body as possible. And there's one. Alright, body is complete. Now we just got to do some face artwork. I think I'll pretty much do the same thing that I did with the other wax spot. That way they look like brothers. And there you have it. You have created a wax spot. And check out how cool they look when they walk. So there you have it. The wax spots. Build one of these. Put it on your radio bench. Just keep it away from small children or critters that like to chew on things.